Welcome back to writing book things in movies. It's your girl Sydney with a C here. This is the very first video in the pseudonym series. It will be a series of three videos and every Friday following um, this one it will be a different video in the series. So the second video will be set it in stone. The third video will be stand out in the crowd and today's video is titled five reasons why you would consider a pen name. Let's go. So what is a pseudonym? A pseudonym is a fictional name that is taken on by authors. And another word for pseudonym, if you don't know, is a pen name. Here's five reasons why you would consider taking on a pseudonym or a pen name. One, you like your privacy. So you really like to write smutty fan fiction, or maybe you like really hot erotica, or you like to write controversial views in politics or religion. All of these are considerations as to why you would want a pen name that separates your regular life from your writer life. Number two, your nine to five matters. So you're a personal trainer at a gym and you're very popular and you like to write romance stories about clients who can't always pay you in cash. So they pay you otherwise. Maybe you should consider a pen name or you like to write modern day high stories and you're a bank teller. Maybe you should consider a pen name. Keep in mind when you're looking for a job that you have to be concerned about whether or not you would want someone to find out about your writing. If it conflicts with your job choices, then you should consider a pen name. Number three, establishing an author's brand. So Daisy Duke likes to write erotic romance and one day she decides she's gonna write high fantasy. She finishes the book and she publishes and her readers, her avid readers, are very confused as to why Maiden in the Sword is not erotic lit. Daisy Dew did not consider her genre when she decided to publish. So when you decide to cross over or establish yourself for the very first time, consider the genre that you're writing and maybe change the pen name. Number four, family tells all. So your family is drama all day, every day, nonstop. And one day you hear this really juicy story from your Uncle Jim. So you write it down and you save it for later for your book that you want to write and you copy it word for word. Now, Uncle Jim might not be happy if you publish this book and it's under your real name. Maybe you should consider a pen name so you don't get caught. Number five, you wanna be found. So you have the same name as a popular author already and there are five other authors with the exact same name but under different genres. Maybe you should consider a pseudonym in order to separate yourself and possibly raise your visibility to other readers. All right, guys, this is going to wrap up my five reasons why you would consider a pen name. This is the first video in the pseudonym series. It is a mini series of three episodes, as I said previously in the beginning. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you would want to stay updated on this particular series, swipe the notification bell. I will have this next video for the second episode up next Friday. And I can't wait to see you guys soon. Go forth and read, write, and watch. Thank you.